last time I was here, I saw they had something really cool on the menu that I wanted to try. There is your super duper close up of the poutine pizza from Boston Pizza. Oh, cheese pull. Nice. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic Food video just for you. I'm in this super hot sunny town of Barrie, Ontario, Canada at Boston Pizza, one of my favorite places to drop by, get a beer and a pizza with my friends, family. And uh, last time I was here, I saw they had something really cool on the menu that I wanted to try for the very first time, only in front of you guys. And it is called the Pizza Poutine. As soon as I saw that, I'm like, I'm coming back. Coming back, gotta do it. They gave me, oh look, this is a little nice care package of some information, high five day, $5 individual pizzas. So they gave me knife and fork. You need all this kind of stuff. Well, you don't need all that, well, definitely don't need ketchup, right people? Never put ketchup on poutine. That is sacrilege right there. Uh, so they gave me lots of napkins. This is their, uh, whoops, hang on. This is their takeout menu. If you want a dinner at your place, uh, so they have like a takeout menu. Uh, I went in there and said, oh, can I get the pizza poutine to go? And she's like, of course, and here's our menu. Super friendly lady. Uh, we got pepper. Sometimes I don't mind putting pepper on my, uh, on my poutine, just depends on how I feel. So it looks like they had like a, just a cardboard at the bottom of the bag to keep things nice and straight from stop from tipping over. I got my water. Oh boy, I'm like very excited. Very excited to give this a shot. Let you guys know. Uh, Boston Pizza um, is a chain of restaurants that's right across Canada. And uh, one of the things they used to have on the menu, see if you guys remember this, if you're from Canada, or if you visited Canada and went to Boston Pizza, they used to have stuffed mushroom caps. And for some reason on the East Coast, people didn't order it. And Boston Pizza tries to keep the menu from coast to coast exactly the same. And because people on the East Coast weren't ordering it, they took it off the menu. Thanks a lot, people from the East Coast. My favorite thing, my favorite appetizer, I used to try and get there before uh, I was meeting up with a friend or, or the, the, the wife and the kids were coming. I'd get there early, grab a beer, grab that, and uh, the stuffed mushroom caps are so good. Oh, look at that, we've got a little bit of light action happening here. Ooh, let's take a super close-up of that. Are you guys ready for a super close-up? Let's do it. All right, guys, there is your super duper close-up of the poutine pizza from Boston Pizza. We've got those crispy fries. And uh, first off, I'm thinking that they are just using mozzarella cheese, which is a little bit of a, a no-no here in Canada. You don't use mozzarella cheese on a poutine. You're supposed to use cheese curds, but I guess Boston Pizza just doesn't have their, their hands on that, that wheel of how to make a poutine properly, but I bet it's gonna taste a great anyway. Uh, we've got the pepperoni. Looks like we've got some parsley on there. I wish they put mushrooms on it, that'd be kind of cool. I, next time I order it, I'll, I'll try, try it with mushrooms. Anyway, let's get into it and see if it's any good. All right, guys, let's give it a quick sniff. Oh, you can really smell that pepperoni and the, the, the pizza sauce on there. Go ahead. You can scratch it. You can sniff it. The rest is mine. It's been a while since I've ordered something that came in a, a tin, a foil container. I always got this bad. Oh, there we go. We got it. We nailed it. Nailed it, people. I was trying to see if it's too hot to, to handle the bottom, and it is not too hot to handle the bottom. Ooh, yes, it is too hot to handle the bottom. Let me grab these napkins. I'll keep one napkin off to the side. Super nice, super nice napkins. There we go, now I won't burn myself. All right, here we go. Let's dig into it. Let's get a piece of pepperoni. Yeah, that just, they didn't use cheese curds. Dang nabbit. Oh, cheese pull, nice. Mmm. Mmm-hmm-hmm. -hmm. 
Now, the pepperoni is very savory. It was the first thing that my taste buds started like, kicking in huge with those super savory uh, chunks of pepperoni. The, the cheese is really nice. I'm not sure if it's a blend of cheese. This is definitely something, it's on the appetizer um, list, so this is something you'd share with everybody at the table. Usually appetizers are six, seven bucks. And a course meal might be 14 to $15, depending on the restaurant and where you are. But other than, other than those complaints, it is very good. I wouldn't order this and then order a pizza. I might order this if I'm like thinking about a pasta dish. And I wanted some type of a pizza flavor in my mouth. I order this before my pizza, my, uh, my entree. Share it with some people. Ooh, it's getting thick down there, people. Mmm. Finally got to some marinara sauce, and gravy is down there. I wasn't sure, like you, you have to have, the, the traditional poutine is french fries, cheese curds, and gravy, and it looks like I finally got to uh, the gravy part of this meal, and it's all underneath, with, along with other cheese, and again, I, I don't. it doesn't look like it's cheese curds, because cheese curds are usually very large. But that's all right. You can get away with it sometimes. You just can't call it a poutine, that's all. Legally. The Canadian laws say. <laughs> yeah, so it's like um, marinara sauce and gravy kind of mixed together. I'm not sure if they blended them together and then poured it on. I'll put the... Uh, cheese down, gravy, and then marinara sauce, and then more fries, cheese curds, or cheese, and then put this on top with some Parmesan. That's that's the other flavors I'm getting, is the Parmesan cheese. You can see that right there, those little crispy flakes that got baked at the last second. Mmm. That's another thing too, it looks like they put it all together, put some more cheese on top, and then put it under this salamander, which is like a, a heating element uh, of flames. I guess not element, but I guess it could be an element. Sure, why not? Why not? Oh, there we go. That's the perfect bite right there. Mm-hmm. Mm. My taste buds weren't really prepared for that whole gravy and tomato sauce, basically, combination, but it's working. It's, it's, it's taking me a couple seconds. What would be nice on here, maybe it's a little bit of uh, ground beef. Just to almost make it like a spaghetti. Put your meat sauce on there. That would kind of spruce it up a bit, eh? Like I said, you, you wouldn't put, wouldn't add salt to this, people. It is salty enough. Mmm. Really, really nice. Um, of course, it's going to be very greasy on the bottom from the uh, the pepperoni being cooked like that. Uh, I'm going to do one more bite, people. I am liking this enough to give every single one of you guys who supports me on this channel and my vlog channel and my Uncotton Raw channel, I want to give a special shout out bite just for you people and all the other people who love to watch my show at one o'clock in the morning. We don't know why you do it, but you do. This pipe is for you. Mmm. Oh. Delightful. Okay, Boston Pizza, if you guys get the chance to watch this video, your poutine is good, but the only way you can make this great is if you actually used cheese curds in this.
recipe. All right, guys, on my rating scale, I'm gonna have to give Boston Pizza's Pizza Poutine a would recommend. It's good to try, but don't expect the flavors and the goodness of a cheese curd. All right, guys, if you love these videos and you don't wanna miss the next one, please hit that subscribe button. It sits right around here. Click the notification bell. But if you wanna show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 and we'll see you next time on another Candomic Food Review. Candomic out. Boop. <laughs> Excuse me. I was trying to compare this. Hmm. So Boston Pizza, if you watch this, guys, I know what to say. I'm gonna have to give Boston Poutine's Boston Pizza's Poot Poot Pizza Poutine. Too, too, too many peas. Too many peas. They're mixing me up. Boston Pizza's Pizza Poutine. Pizza Poutine. Boston Pizza Pizza.